the rise of any country is always accompanied by a certain argumentation uh, and a certain marketing if you would uh, and i think that's exactly what is happening to us uh, if the rise is sharp if the changes are very significant then the gaps will be more i mean um, the cultural particularities of the indian democracy per se how do you think the west has adjusted to that given that it also has tied uh, the economic imagination of india somewhat in what it looks at indian democracy but now when you look at the economy story they have to accept or adjust with the indian cultural particularities what what i'm referring to even if it is the citizenship act or the fact that they also had a lautenberg amendment how much of that gap is being closed as the economic conversation catches up uh well look when any country any society rises or changes uh there will be an adjustment process i mean uh it's not fair to expect uh, automatic understanding uh if the rise is sharp if the changes are very significant then the gaps will be more so there will there will be issues there are issues i mean i i don't think anybody uh, would would uh, deny it i mean uh, you you gave an example which is uh, caa uh, you know uh, you you can see in some parts of the world uh, that uh, there's a automatic buy into buy in into you know certain uh, narratives uh, particularly vote bank type narratives now nobody really figures in you know th- that this is an uh, consequence of the partition uh, that you know you have neighbors who where the minorities uh, the numbers have gone down dramatically and those people have to go somewhere and in many cases the nature of the faiths are such that the only place they can go to is india now these are all countries who by the way do the same thing themselves i mean many of them have used religion or language or other uh, attributes as a faster pathway to citizenship or immigration in their own case but yet they would buy into it so there will be issues i think what is important is how do we uh, you know how do we communicate better how do we set out our narratives when we encounter something which is uh, uh, difficult or different how do we have the confidence to counter that uh, so uh, the rise of any country is always accompanied by a certain argumentation uh, and a certain marketing if you would uh, and i think that's exactly what is happening to us